Hey guys, James Beck here for some more VGC battles. F this time from a Premier Challenge in Delaware on May 18th. If you don't know what a Premier Challenge is, it's basically a small local tournament where they give out CP, Championship Points, for some players who are trying to get their invite to Worlds. And here I'm going to be facing actually an old friend of mine. Um, we... We actually met in, in 2013 series um, during the uh, spring spring regionals, and this guy he basically um, flinched me with a toga kiss in 2013. So I want so I want to play him. So I basically know him. I know. So I know him, and basically I really wasn't happy to face him because he had a really good team matchup against me. Mian Chao pretty much wrecks my team, and I mean wrecks. I'm not kidding. Mian Chao is pretty much my worst nightmare. I did not expect a Mian Chao. So yeah, um, basically I know that Mian Chao is a threat. His Chandelure, I think I could handle pretty well. Mawile, definitely. It is something I have to get rid of. And that Rotom Wash. Maybe if I could get a Draco Meteor with my Hydreigon. That would either kill, destroy it. Or put it in range where any of my Pokemon could basically uh, take him out. So let's begin. As his team matched up really good against me again. So I wasn't expecting. I was expecting a hard battle. I leave with um, Hydreigon and Jumpluff versus Chandelure and Mianchao. He goes for the first turn Fake Out onto the Hydreigon. As Chandelure is faster than all the Pokemon on the field, gets a Heat Wave off, and I know that is Scarf immediately. As Focus Sash does save my Jumpluff, as I go for the Sleep Powder, but Mianchao avoids the attack, and I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm gonna withdraw my. Uh, jump off, go into Azumarill because Azumarill is going to help. Heat Wave, Azumarill voice attack, probably didn't matter. It wasn't going to do that much. As Mian Chao is going to go for the Drain Punch onto the Hydreigon. Basically able to pick up the KO. And I'm really not happy at this point. I go into Jump off again. And go for the Helping Hand onto Azumarill. Kind of interesting. But I know I need to get Chandelure out of the way. With that Aqua Jet, it is able to pretty much KO that Chandelure, and I'm very happy about that. As Mianchao does reveal the Rock Slide, which I'm okay with. Mianchao really can't do much to Azumarill. As Jumpluff is going to faint, so now I'm at a 2-3 lead. I sent out Kangaskhan. It's my last Pokemon. And now he's going to send out Mawile, getting that Intimidate off. Which is really bad. And I mean really bad. So I basically have to take a risk. He withdraws his Mian Chao, which kind of surprised me. And sends out Rotom. As I'm going to Mega Wolf with my Kangaskhan. And I know if I need any chance of winning. I have to set up a Belly Drum with Azumarill. As his Mawile is going to Mega Wolf. To get that huge power boost. And also raise its defenses. As I fake out the Mawile. Because I know I need Belly Drum on the Azumarill. And plus Mianchao can't do anything to Azumarill. As I do get the Belly Drum off. I do get it. As I get a plus 6 Azumarill. And heal back with my Citrus Berry. To get back around 50%. As Mawile is flinched. I protect with Azumarill because I basically know that he wants to get rid of the Azumarill. He goes for the protect with Mawile. I'm fine with that. I kind of expected that. As I go for the power up punch onto the Rotom Wash. This basically allows me to get a uh, plus one Kangaskhan after in that Intimidate from earlier. As Rotom did, did go for the Thunderbolt onto the Azumarill. Now I just go for the Aqua Jet onto the Mawile. Which is able to KO, surprisingly. As I go for a return onto the Rotom Wash. 
which eats its citrus berry? As my return is able to knock it out, which I was very happy. I was very happy. Basically, it sealed me up the game. He sends out Mianxia, and basically I know I could sucker punch an Aqua Jet for the game. So, even with my bad team matchup, uh, Zumaro really saved me. Because, I mean, Belly Drama Zumaro can really change up a game. So can Mega Kangaskhan. And because the power of punch boost is pretty much set. So, even with the bad turn 1 for me, I was able to come back thanks to my Azumarill, Kangaskhan, and knowing that um, Mian Xiao wasn't a threat as much as the Mawile, and I needed to belly drum in order to win. So yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, be sure to share with your friends on Twitter and Instagram. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And yeah, be sure to check out my round rounds 1 and 2 and 4 in the future. I'll see you guys next time.